I have a question. I see. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. Not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing.
Praying, Father? Yes. Praying is all I can do. For I am at fault for each death upon the cursed plain of Dusker. You keep saying it's your fault, Father, but you're wrong. His Highness doesn't blame you. Neither does King Lambert, I'm sure of it. But I guess that's not the issue for you, is it? It was my duty to protect the royal family. I should have given my life to protect the king, even if his highness has forgiven me. My knightly vows are still broken. My knighthood is lost. That's obvious from looking at you, father. I think mother understood it as well. But before fleeing the country, I wish you had thought about your family. If only for a moment. Even if the whole world had condemned you. We would always have been your allies. I am sorry, Annette. No. I told you before. I don't particularly want you to apologize. Annette. Yes, Father? Take this. A bundle of letters? There are so many. Look inside and you will understand. Should the contents make you sad, please burn them. Father, oh, for the love of... He's done it again. <sighs> but what have we here? <laughs> Just as I thought. Letters for me and mother. And so many. But why? And how? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to read them if I hope to find my answers. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. How best to use this skill?
There must be more I can do. I'll do what I must. Still a long way to go. Always something new to learn. I understand. There must be more I can do. How best to use this skill?
The Kingdom Army crosses the Great Bridge of Murden a second time, moving south through Grander Field. However, in order to reach Anvar, they must first seize the impregnable Fort Mercius. I am ever so grateful. Fort Mercius. Said to rival Arian Road, the Silver Maiden. Perhaps a head-on siege was a foolish plan after all. No, you're right that it's the only way. I don't think the Death Knight would have fallen for any tricks. Even if they are denied supplies, they could hold a fortress like this for months. And we cannot discount the possibility that they will receive more reinforcements if our siege is delayed. <sighs> yes, my thoughts exactly. Then we have no option but to do the best we can. Say, Professor, in the past, it seemed like the Death Knight took some strange satisfaction from his fights with you. He's an unpredictable opponent, a dangerous one. Please proceed with caution. Of course. You were the heart of the Blue Lions, and the same holds true for the Kingdom Army. That man approaches. They broke through the gates! Guess it's time for an impressive counterattack! <sighs> How did I get tangled up in all of this? You are finally here. Will Death's scythe claim you, or will I fall to that sword of yours? And Mercedes, here you are as well. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch!
They broke through the main gate. Trample them. All save that man. Even though we smashed the main gate, Fort Mercius is still an ironclad fortress. And the enemy commander is the Death Knight. We must not falter in our assault. I now see why they call this keep impregnable. Everywhere you turn is defensive weaponry. We must capture all of those locations as we push forward. If even one of them takes a shot at you, we will be in trouble. Ready when you are. I'm your girl. I'll cut through. I am prepared. What's the plan? your service my orders leave it to me What's my strategy?
<sighs> Is that it? You fought well. This level of mastery is enough. Had to be done. Wait, that's it? Don't let your guard down. More proof of my loyalty. the better to serve His Highness. Aim for greatness. Ah, huh, thanks. It is done. Thank you. 
thank you. You knew the odds. Did you have to kill a lot of your friends to get here? Cause I'm gonna give this fight everything I've got! I'm not going down! I took it too far. I must retreat for now. Worrisome. They have a leader capable of summoning reinforcements. If we find and strike down that person, we can prevent further interruptions. Western units, reinforce the east side. I'll cut through. What's the plan?
Don't bother haunting me. At your service. My orders? Aye, aye! Leave it to me. Ready when you are. Worrisome. They have a leader capable of summoning reinforcements. If we find and strike down that person, we can prevent further interruptions. I am prepared. I'm your girl. What's my strategy? It won't be in vain. Just... be careful. not fight, yet avoiding it is more frustrating and fruitless than engaging in the battle itself. <laughs> Pointless. <laughs> I hope someday there will be no fighting and <laughs> we can all just nap the afternoon away. for our future.
time is now. Did you have to kill a lot of your friends to get here? Cause I'm gonna give this fight everything I've got! Don't worry about me. I always knew losing meant death. Quite helpful. You took me lightly. Hopefully I'll be more useful now. Eastern units, advance to the front line! It 
was meant to be. On my honor as a knight! Aim for greatness. Too slow. Oh! 
Child's play! I'm here. Now's our chance. Be careful. What's the plan? All for Fargus. You saved me. With this strength, I can protect them all. I shall not stray. You fought well. <sighs> Guess.
Another victory. I'm not dying here. This could turn the tides. I'll use this power for the greater good. Nice form. Hate me if you must. You were unprepared. You took me lightly. going to plan.
So. I'll cut through. We're in this together. Witness my resolve. What you got? What? No, you you got, got you Thanks.
Thanks. Be careful. It won't be in vain. Can't afford to lose. I must lead them well. I could learn from that. Is this my last stand? Still had room to grow.
too kind. Next try. Not so fast. It won't be in vain. <laughs> Had to be done. I'll cut through. His Highness saved my life. I won't waste it.
can't afford to lose. Appreciate it. That wasn't my best. Exemplary work. going to plan. Another victory. I swear it wasn't in vain. That worked out well. It is done. If you're sure. I must pull through.
tanks. What's my strategy? It won't be in vain. I'm your girl. Stand between me and my pleasure. Yes, I dare stand against you, Death Knight. Death is all that remains. Thanks for that. You're stronger now. Whether I kill you or you kill me, I'm looking forward to this. To kill, 
To die. To know one without the other would be maddening. There is still room for improvement. The enemy general has been vanquished. Everyone, move to gain control of the keep. Victory is ours. Raise the banner of the knights. May it soar proudly over the impregnable fortress. Your Highness, our capture of the fortress is complete. Now the path to the Imperial capital is finally open to us. Once we have finished cleaning up after the battle, let's have another meeting to discuss our next move. Naturally, but it matters not. Consider this. Once this war is over, the mountain of official business on my plate will be even taller. If I can't handle at least this much, how will I... Pardon the interruption. We've just received a letter from Margrave Gautier. Very well. I will read it at once. I see. It seems the conflict within Fargus has at last come to an end. Yes, Your Highness. The Margrave and the other Eastern Lords are at the center of it, and are gathering the Kingdom's military forces even now. They intend to join with the Alliance Army, and send troops and supplies to the Monastery. What do you know? My old man is really pulling his weight. Did he seem well? Yes. As well as can be expected. He has taken it upon himself to bring order back to our troubled territory, while His Highness is away. I am truly in the Margrave's debt. I will be sure to thank him properly at first opportunity. Thank you for the information. Now tell me, did it seem to you that my presence was needed back at the monastery? Well, I do have a verbal message from the Margrave on the subject. A verbal message? How strange. The other day, he arrested one of Vicald Kleiman's men. And, well... The prisoner has claimed involvement in the tragedy of Dusker. He has implicated his lord as well. Go on. I was told they would be transporting this man to the monastery, along with the troops and supplies. The Margrave said that regardless of the credibility of the man's testimony, how he should be dealt with was your decision alone, your highness. Very well. All that considered, I will return to the monastery at once. Will you come with me, Professor? Thank you.
Part 2. Azure Moon. Verdant Rain Moon. Our Chosen Paths. The Kingdom Army has captured Fort Mercius, Managing troops from the now stable Western Kingdom and former Alliance territory, the Kingdom Army returns to Garigmach to regroup and reorganize its forces. With sufficient might to challenge the Empire, the Kingdom Army finalizes their plans to march on Enbar, the Imperial capital. Ah, there you are. His Highness was looking for you. He's gone ahead and started interrogating the prisoner, Viscount Clyman's man. He said he'd like for you and I to be present as well. Will you come with me? I cannot overlook your reckless remarks. Are you really so keen to lose your head? I only did what I believed was right. I swear to the Goddess that I'm not lying. Amidst the turmoil of the tragedy, Lady Patricia was supposed to be the only one who was unharmed. We had been given orders ahead of time to not approach her carriage. Of course not. What would my stepmother have had to gain from such a... Perhaps Lady Patricia would have done anything to return to the Empire, to her husband and daughter. What exactly are you implying? For the past few months, I've been spying on lords who defected to the Empire in order to investigate rumors about Lady Patricia. Cornelia's words were true. The two of them... I am afraid they conspired together after all. Enough of this nonsense! You say she wished to return home? That isn't nearly enough reason to cause such a tragedy. I do not intend to imply that the two of them were solely responsible for the whole affair. There were likely nobles who opposed the king, or potentially someone who wanted to throw the kingdom into chaos. The Empire, and people like Solon and Kronya had their motives too. So my stepmother joined with them to cause the tragedy. Is that what you believe? Ultimately, this is just conjecture based on the evidence at hand. I have no idea what their true intentions were. I see. We will hear what this man has to say. For now. My lord had long felt that King Lambert's radical ways were dangerous. At the time he was approached with an offer to take part in the incident at Dusker. My lord loves his homeland. To me, he embodied justice. We were only doing what we thought was right. And so, in the name of justice, he caused massacre upon massacre out of love for his homeland. You murdered your own king, killed our soldiers, and involved innocent citizens. And yet you have the gall to speak of justice! I am only standing before you now, because I could no longer bear the weight of my sins. Yes, I believe I do. Gilbert, lock this man in his cell. Are you not going to kill him? I will make that decision once I have had time to consider this man's definition of justice. Yes, Your Highness. No, I cannot say that I am. Tell me, Professor. How well do you remember your father, Geralt? Soon enough, you will come to understand how painful it is to forget the faces of those who have passed on. 
to be honest, I cannot really remember my stepmother's... <sighs> that woman's smile, nor the sound of her voice. I always told myself that I would not allow my mind to forget, and yet, all I can recall with clarity is her gazing away, so forlorn. Did my stepmother wish to go home so badly that she would kill father and me? Kill her false family? Home to her own blood. Her true family. I suppose it doesn't make any difference now. I am asking you questions you could not possibly know the answer to. I am finished with thoughts like that. I am finally able to go on living without clinging to hate. If I truly treasure those who have died, then I must earnestly atone for my sins. Father, Glenn, all of the soldiers who have fallen, the people of Dusker who still suffer persecution. The only atonement I can offer them now is to take responsibility for this broken kingdom that has been entrusted to me. That is why I feel that I must meet with Edelgard and try to talk to her. Do you think it is a fool's errand? Honestly, I think so too. But I must swallow my feelings and grudges, our whole history really, and ask her about this future that she sees. What she aims for once her domination is complete. What kind of justice she clings to as she fights. And why she felt it necessary to start this war. I believe that asking her these things is the true responsibility I have been tasked with as king. We will march our troops to the Imperial capital. But before any battle begins, we will set up camp nearby and send a messenger. I will tell her that I need to speak with her in a safe place, without any weapons or troops. As to whether or not she will agree to my request, well, that rests solely on Edelgard. I would like to believe that as well. You know, Professor, when we fought in Ferdiad, Cornelia mocked me and called me pitiful. But even if it is true that my stepmother never loved me, I am not to be pitied. After all, I have allies and dear friends who care for me. And now, I also have you by my side. 